Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by background radiation. You should then be able to describe the main sources of natural and man-made background radiation. And all of this is for triple physics students only. Now we've already seen that certain isotopes are radioactive and that means that they release radiation from the nucleus of their atoms. We can detect the radiation released by using a Geiger Muller tube like this one. You may have seen one of these in your school. If we place this near a radioactive isotope, then it will tell us the count rate. However, the Geiger Muller tube also gives a reading even if we take the radioactive isotope away. And that's because there's radiation all around us all the time. Scientists call this background radiation. And there are four main sources that you need to learn. Two are natural sources and two are man-made. The first natural source of background radiation is radioactive rock, and we find that in the ground. This includes granite. In some parts of the UK, such as Cornwall, this can be a major source of background radiation. The second natural source of background radiation are cosmic rays from space. These are very high energy particles which travel through space and they crash into the Earth's atmosphere. One source of cosmic rays are supernovae, which are exploding stars. OK, so those are the natural sources of background radiation. Let's take a look now at two man-made sources. The first is fallout from nuclear weapons testing. This has released radioactive isotopes into the environment for decades. Nowadays, nuclear testing has been mainly phased out, but the isotopes still remain. The second man-made source of background radiation are nuclear accidents. This shows a nuclear power station in Japan. In 2011, a tsunami crashed into the power station, causing it to release huge amounts of radioactive isotopes into the environment. Now this will take decades to clean up. So nuclear accidents are a man-made source of background radiation. Now your exposure to background radiation can be affected by your location and by your occupation. As we said before, people living in certain parts of the UK experience a greater level of background radiation. For example, people living in regions with large amounts of granite, such as Cornwall or Northern Scotland. Also, people working in certain occupations can experience greater levels of background radiation. For example, cabin crew and airline pilots may be exposed to higher levels of cosmic radiation. Now the dose of radiation is measured in sieverts or millisieverts. A millisievert is one thousandth of a sievert. I should point out that you're not required to recall the name of this unit in the exam, but it might be used in an exam question. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on background radiation in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to describe what's meant by background radiation. You should then be able to describe the main sources of natural and man-made background radiation.